Friends, as we're approaching this Sunday, the World Day of Prayer for Vocations, I want to just share with you a little bit of the logic behind why we have this particular day of prayer for vocations. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus is very clear. The harvest is abundant, the laborers are few. So do what? Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers into his vineyard. Who's the master of the harvest? Our Lord himself, right? So to actually pray for vocations is something we're invited to do in the gospel from Jesus Christ. Men and women who are being invited to live out celibacy for the kingdom, whether that's in consecrated life, religious life, in the priesthood, depend on the prayers of so many, right? We come to the altar not alone, but actually standing on the shoulders of the giants who've gone before us, the saints who have prayed for us throughout the generations but that have gone by. In this generation, in this specific time in history, the Lord is calling more women and men to respond generously to his call. And I ask you and I invite you on this World Day of Prayer for Vocations to join with us to pray, to ask the Master of the Harvest to send out laborers into his vineyard. God bless you.